I'm going to show you now from uh, Chateau de Colomb here, Journey to the Chateau. Uh, es ist sehr kalt uh, im Schloss. Draußen sind es nur 2, 3, manchmal 5 Grad minus im Augenblick. Also wir haben nochmal uh, ein bisschen Winter im Schloss, in der Eingangshalle, Esszimmer und uh, einigen Schlafzimmern. Es ist zwischen 8 und 9 Grad, also von daher recht kalt. Salut à tous. Bienvenue à Journey to the Chateau de Colomb in Saint-Baudel. And now to English speaking friends from around the world, uh, welcome to a new episode of Journey to the Chateau. It is freezing. Now, having to say, this it's cold outside. Um, for the Europeans, it's minus two, three, sometimes minus four. It's about 20, uh, between 20, 23 to 29 degrees. So it's really not that cold, but inside the Chateau, we are having maybe 40 <laughs> some in yeah, most rooms. It feels like it's colder <laughs> inside than outside. And it's so, it, you see, so we have the fire going right now here in the kitchen. Very and nice. when we leave the kitchen to go to the dining room, that is a drop and it feels like you go from a beautiful warm room and you get frostbite in the next. So <laughs> that was actually, I stole that from John who was here today mm -hmm. working on the electrics in the kitchen. And, um, but we still had a good week. Now we had one big setback. Uh, we did. And that's the setback. Yes, yes. I have a I have a sprained ankle, which uh, I actually had a sprained ankle previously, and I have it again because I didn't take enough time to take care of it the first time. Well, let's, let's put it in perspective. So Stuart said, "Hey, that was fun to have a sprained ankle. Let's sprain it again." Mm. So uh, when you see mostly me in the videos, it's because he's not allowed to be on his ankle, and um, it's like hurting cats. Sometimes, because he will just sneak in and carry something, and then I have to say, "What are you doing? That's not, don't do that." Um, so, but we got something delivered this week. We did. This week is all about some new additions to the chateau. Yes.
so I'm, I'm I'm very content about or I'm happy about the tracker. <laughs> Having it is is great. Finally, it will. Yet, um, and the the company in in uh, Saint Germain du Puy, it's outside of Bush, it's an industrial or zone uh, industrielle um, and commercial. They they are they are fantastic. Jonathan is um, just really wonderful. Um, brought it here, explained everything. Um, it's it's fantastic. I'm mean, really lovely. It will make a lot of projects much easier and faster. Uh, the difference is taking tiles off for something and putting them in bags and then putting them in a wheelbarrow and walking them uh, through three hectares <laughs> into the back because we have an area. This is all organic material that will decompose. Mm -hmm. um, or having it in the bucket of the tractor and driving into the back. It, it, <laughs> so much easier. <laughs> and so, I mean, I wouldn't say we're lazy, but uh, there is there are limits and we're no spring chickens, remember that. So, um, then we have, uh, and we, we did not, this is not a sponsorship. We're not sponsoring anyone here. We're not getting paid for anything. It's um, a tractor we picked because uh, we did a lot of research mm -hmm. and because of the moving company that we had in the United States, they were incredibly incompetent, so we couldn't take ours with us. Um, so we so it's we sold it there, or actually our friends, um, Ole and Ogdona sold it for us. Mm -hmm. And our neighbors, uh, Jerry and Carol, helped with all of that. It was fantastic. Right, and it's probably better that it ended up happening that way yes. anyway, because, uh, <laughs> The, what we had in the states that we were trying to bring over was it was a lawnmower compared to what we now have, which is a tractor. Uh, yes, so or a sand tractor, <laughs> <laughs> but it's it is absolutely true. So, so things happen for a reason. It was very frustrating, mm -hmm. but this tractor is what we need now because it's quite a bit bigger than what we had. So um, all things, all's well that ends well. Right. To um, quote the Bible. Another thing we did this week was uh, we did a lot of repair work. Well, mainly Patrick did a lot of repair work on our, our columns for our gates. Uh, our small gate uh, specifically, it needed a lot of repair and have a look. So we have a couple of here, that's cement. That's in front of the... Uh, lime render which was very common in the 50s and 60s where it, here in England, in Germany, uh, people did this because it was the new thing to do. It was, oh, this is great, which it, then in the end wasn't because it seals in, it's not, it can't breathe, and so it seals in moisture that then makes the lime render deteriorate. Okay, so I'm gonna, Down. Uh, yeah, that's, I'm going to continue that, but then we, let's, let me take, or let us take the, the top off first. Right. much like a top does it it doesn't no i don't know what it's what it's supposed to even be well it was one of those uh uh thingies <laughs> you know those okay this 
Looks an awful lot like cement. It does, yes. Cement. Limestone. So let's see. Ah, oh, okay. Yep. More cement. And underneath. Yeah. So, never use cement on limestone. <laughs> Sounds like a broken record. I am a broken record. Yeah, normally I like the moss, but it just right now, it just is more detrimental to this here so uh, until we have fi uh, fixed it and we're gonna pick this moss up and then rub it on it yeah so here you can see there's actually a hole well I can see there's a hole you might not be so there's a hole in here that I need to fill there that's better yeah let's destroy some more Trying to stop the deterioration of our pillar here, and this is all. <laughs> oh, Lord. Okay. Hello. Deteriorating much? Oh. Oh, good. This is all. This That's is all cement. Concrete. That's all cement. Ginger, yes. Ginger, can you please get away? There, thank you. I need some filler stones because I have to refill some of this and rebuild that over there. <laughs> Nessa and her bonky moments. This moves, this doesn't move. So I do need to get a hammer, or if you could get me one, that would be great too. Yeah. Uh, because I need <laughs> to clobber that. This needs to go. This is completely encasing um, everything. So I can't, I, this stone moves, but it mo needs to move this way and not where it is. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So this Again, previous this, this previously cement. had been had been repaired with some cement, which yeah. unfortunately has caused now caused even more problems for the column. Actually, I mean, I could actually re-glue this here, I mean, um, after I clean it out, and I can reset it and then fill everything else. So let me see what is he down here. Okay. Yes, I do need a, need a nice hammer. Okay. This is solid stone. It's good, but there's, again, there's here, there's cement. And when you have the cement and it seals things in, it's pure cement. Now there is something that's called, uh, what is that? It's cement with lime render. Limecrete. Limecrete. That's a bit different, but this is not, not, not great. Um, so just need to turn on the water. We do have a night, new hose. Wow, yes. That, uh, up, uh, that actually retracts <laughs> and is on the wall. Sorry about this, and uh, it's lovely. Okay, I'm gonna start, uh, get the hammer and start the water. Okay.
in order for our final act for that gate, uh, well, there, there's still some repairs further down, but right. uh, the, the tops are repaired. So um, we needed to have a base for what was going on later. So that was the next step. Now this is the gate we drive in and out of all the time and uh, visitors and friends are, are going through that gate so that's really lovely and looking out of it this morning um, makes me smile, it's really lovely. Yeah. Now we have uh, something that is coming for the big front gates, um, that, but you know we have such cold temperatures now so that will be a bit before we can actually put that up there. Right. But we have done similar work for that as well um so it's it's exciting and we're pretty happy right absolutely i mean all about your ankle <laughs> <You're> right <laughs> So since we haven't done a, a regular update on it, but the, the bulbs are doing really, really well. And we had, so we had this wonderful warm week with beautiful sunshine, mm -hmm. and now we're to single digits in the hall. So the bulbs are saying, what's wrong with you people? <laughs> yeah. But they are doing extremely well. Right, and just a reminder for everyone, 
Uh, we mentioned last week that we're going to be doing a time capsule yes. sealed up in our kitchen. So don't forget that if you want to send something for our to go into our time capsule, uh, you need to send it to the address that is in the description of this video. Oh, hold on one second. Uh, so thank you, Jason and Hannah. So uh, and a few other people, but those I just have to mention separately. Uh, you're all set. Yes, already received some things for the time capsule. But yeah, so if you uh, like this video, please subscribe, uh, recommend us to your friends and family, and uh, you might join us on Patreon. Um, we hope you're going to have a wonderful week. See you on Friday for our next video, and that is going to be a... Yes, that will actually, this week it's going to be a full episode because yes. we have done quite a lot of work in the kitchen. So instead of our regular Friday at the Chateau, we are going to have an actual full episode of Journey at the Chateau on Friday. And hooray kitchen. Yeah, kitchen updates. <laughs> yes. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Au revoir. Bye. Auf Wiedersehen. If you enjoyed this video, please use the like feature to let us know. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our Journey to the Chateau YouTube channel if you would like to see more. Once you've subscribed, you can tap the notification bell in order to ring it, which will allow you to receive all notifications from our channel. Thank you.